Actually, um, Kinchi, she is a very old friend of mine, has already spoken on what I was supposed to speak. Um, usually we say that uh, this disaster, nuclear disaster, is still going on. So today I would like to uh, uh, give one view why we argue that this is still going on. Especially uh, since, you know, because of the pandemic, I have less chance to visit Fukushima. I'm residing in Tokyo. I'm just going to explain what is the present situation of the nuclear, uh, nuclear reactor at Fukushima number one power station. They are already uh, 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 properly, you know, cleaned up, or as we can say that uh, still we are struggling, you know, a lot of our problems in, in front. So I'm just going to explain some of those problems, which, you know, uh, TEPCO, our Japanese government, as well as we are all, all facing in, in terms of Fukushima number one power station. So this is a view, uh, I probably you remember that uh, 10 years ago, we are really frightened to see those. I mean, this one, this long pole, is pouring the water to the, the pool where these uh, used to fail load are kept. And if we don't give the water there, you know, it will be uh, blasted. So, and this is one that was a blast, but not because of that, uh, that's a hydrogen blast. So this is a this is a 20, 20, uh, 20, uh, 10 years ago, and this is uh, present days. This is a live camera of uh, number one uh, Fukushima nuclear power station. So it uh, looks much better, but still a lot of works are going on and still very dangerous. And this is a water tank, which uh, Kinji mentioned that uh, we have a huge amount of water and there's a, according to TEPCO and our, my government, there's no other way to dispose of the water. And this is increasing day by day, as she mentioned. So, and she also mentioned that, you know, Japanese government and TEPCO say that we need 40, 30 to 40 years to decommissioning up to 2015, uh, 51, sorry. So according to the original plan, you know, period from start spent fuel assembly removal. That means that this uh, used fuel load would remove, starting removing in 2013. But still, uh, actually, we are still, you know, removing. We could not complete the removal of those spent fuel. And then here, we are supposed to start, uh, you know, uh, fuel debris, debris, uh, retrieval, retrieval, removing those things from the reactor inside. But still, we cannot start this one. So uh, still, we have a huge number of the big number of the fuel loads assembly. Um, we don't know when we can really uh, finish those. So I, I'm sure that you know original plan to take 40 years will exceed easily another 20 years, or if not 30 years. So. This removal of the spent fuel load from pools, from unit um, um, three and four has somehow, I mean, four, we didn't have much problem, but we have already, removed, first we removed the unit four's uh, one, that was completed, and now unit three was also completed. So uh, you see, this this is a so-called pool. Um, you know, fuel is usually kept here, and after using those fuel, there is no way to remove and to, to transport. So they usually kept here. So still unit one, unit two reactors, we have a big number of the uh, fuel uh, loads. And even the fuel load uh, removed from here was still uh, kept in, 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 in Fukushima in, in near, near this uh, station. And then still, so the, our still continuing job is removing those fuel loads. At the same time, next job is, is to remove those core melt. You know, this is this was supposed to be the shape of the load, but it's melted, so we come to debris. So we have to remove them. This was intact, so this is not a big problem, but how we can remove those uh, core melt is a big question. This is, sorry, this is a kind of uh, Japanese version newspaper. Every one, once a week, Tokyo newspaper give these details. Um, so this is number one reactors. We have, a, within this reactor, we have a more than 
1,000 tons with highly contaminated water. So number two, we have 8,400, 840 tons of water. Number three, 1,000, uh, nearly 2,000 tons of water. And here, lot 392, I'm, oh, sorry. And here, 615. Here, already completed, number four completed. So I, I'm coming back to here again. So there is a lot of problems, you know. Still, we could not, no one can go inside. Still, robot, still not so much successful. So we have to get into inside, okay? This is a reactor. So you see this 50 civil per hour, 530 civil per hour, or here 20 civil per hour. But you know, 10 civil dose is this for 10, 100% within one or two weeks. You see, it's a 10 civil, it's a 530 civil. So how we can, you know, imagine that anyone get into inside no one can really go. 100 uh, sieved dose, instant death. So no way to get inside. So, but we have to remove this one first and repair somehow here. And then start to, uh, you know, uh, 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 construct, destructing those parts. So uh, as Kim Chi, Kim Chi mentioned, um, TEPCO and Japanese company, uh, try to develop new different type of robots. So it almost looks like a snake because this is this tube is not always straight, you know. So it's not easy. So maybe you know next Japanese uh, uh, export product will be the robot to <laughs> the commissioning uh, nuclear power stations. Okay, this is a, a kind of fast one of the fast pictures those robots took. You know th those could be the debris. And only this small part, this is a finger, was could be removed from inside. So, so you can easily imagine, you know, we still we have a long way to go. We couldn't re actually we, we we could leach inside, but we could not remove the, uh, those debris, debris, or only very small quantity. So it's a long way to go. So the second question is, uh, as Kinchi mentioned, that uh, we do not agree, but uh, this, you know, how to dispose this contaminated water and the tanks, I mean, water, water from reactors and underground. So we have to always keep water going on to keep inside of the reactors, always a uh, cool, keeping cool. And then water come out because those are broken. At the same time, Ground, natural ground water also came in. And we could not, we can, we, we uh, TEPCO created a frozen soil wall, but it's not functioning very well. So water is always coming in. We have to pump up. Otherwise, if rain water comes, it will automatically go out to the ocean. So we have to keep this water level low. Um, so I don't exactly um, know the number of the tanks, but it is a huge number. But to me, you know, dumping into the ocean is, is, is a crazy idea. Um, we should uh, continuously cre increase number of the water and the tank to, to preserve until we have a, you know, we have a, uh, we will uh, invent the new techniques to remove the all type of um, uh, nuclear uh, uh, atomic energy from the west water so that we can you know, uh, uh, treat this water properly. So, you know, there's a lot of voices against it. Fisherman's voice, distrust, worry over the government decision to release the Fushima plant water. But uh, Prime Minister apparently, you know, uh, overlooked their voices. Um, so, I don't know, actually, you know, the Japanese government is uh, saying that we can dilute it, so it will be safe. It's a nonsense story. Even the small kid can understand this logic is uh, long. But uh, my, my, our government is seriously saying that uh, we, we, we discharge this water following the international standard by diluting it. it it's a totally nonsense. Another big issue which we are facing is this contaminated uh, waste or ashes. Maybe Kim Chi also have seen this kind of scene that, uh, you know, 
there's a mountain, the houses, all, you know, so, you know, the rumor of the contaminated waste and gathering and kept it, con contained it in those big plastic bags. And those were kept everywhere in Fukushima. But nowadays, they are, uh, TEPCO is uh, concentrating, you know, carrying all those con uh, uh, waste bags to, to the uh, Fukushima number one reactors and uh, adjacent areas. So it's a huge pile. And, but before moving in here, some of those waste, waste was uh, uh, fire and that we do to reduce the uh, signs and then become to the uh, ashes. But anyhow, it's a huge amount. So nobody knows, you know, how to do, deal with this. Japanese government have, a, you know, give a, a promise to the Fukushima people that, yes, we want to use your area for temporary, you know, uh, storage. We promise you to remove those things after several decades, but nobody knows where they are going to. It's a really huge. And still you can go there and the people are working there, but still you can you know, see the high level of the radiation. So the, I, I'm getting close to the last, but the, the most important point is that the total cost for the commissioning. You know, my government, my dear government in 2016 estimated the total cost will be 22 trillion N, trillion N or 200 billion dollars or, 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 or uh, this uh, one trillion 35, I mean, I, maybe I, I don't say that uh, how to translate. And uh, now Japanese private think tank, which is a uh, well-known think tank uh, this year, they estimated it's a four times more. 81 trillion dollars or 764 billion dollars. So how this size is big is that, you know, Japanese government annual budget for this year is 101 trillion yen. So it's almost like almost near nearly to the Japanese annual budget is needed to, to decommission. Chinese 21 year, 2021 military budget is um, similar to uh, this one, yeah? one, one point, one point, uh, one, uh, 1.35 trillion. So TEPCO's annual income is, is, uh, is 1.3 trillion. So it's, it's a huge amount. Still, nuclear power generation is cheaper than the other ways. That is usually, you know, uh, people in favor of the nuclear power station. Uh, you know, use this logic, but I don't think this is really cheap. So, um, uh, apart from uh, uh, Fukushima, if we see the total number of the nuclear uh, power station in Japan, it's a long way to eliminate from Japan. Nuclear power station in Japan, up to 2011, Japan was gener generating some 30% of electricity from the reactor. And this was expected to increase at least to 40% by 2017. That's the original plan. But because of that, the plan is now at least 20% by 2030 from existing one. The first two reactors restarted in August two, uh, and October 2015, with the further uh, seven having restarted since uh, 60 more uh, reactors are uh, uh, currently in the process of the restart approval. And of course, Japanese government, you know, tightened up the regulation, safety regulation of, of the existing uh, reactors. So all the, you know, reactor uh, power station have to be uh, equipped very well to, to take uh, more strict uh, uh, safety measures. So that takes much time and uh, also cost. So good and bad news recently, TEPCO, began decommissioning the Fukushima number two reactor. You know, we have a number one reactors, we have a six a number power station, which has a six reactor. So number two reactor was somehow intact. You know, they are not damaged by tsunami. So they get same size of the height of the tsunami, but it was kept intact. But uh, because of the emotion of the Fukushima people, the government decided to close this one. So quite recently, they started uh, the decommissioning number two uh, uh, reactor. 
uh, number two power stations. But then this takes another 43 years. Um, um, but anyhow, number two plant has been suspended since uh, 2011. And the total cost of scrapping this number two plant, including the processing of spent nuclear fuel, estimate only 400, 410 billion N or 3.7 billion dollars. So cheap <laughs> in comparison with number one. Now, 10 reactors in Fukushima, Japan are decommissioned, but no idea whether uh, where the spent fuel load stores. And bad news is that uh, the Kansai Electric Power, it's not TEPCO, it's a Kansai, the uh, western part of Japan, has started the number three reactor of a Mihama nuclear power plant in Western Japan on Wednesday, last week. So, and, and an 826 megawatt reactor is all this uh, to, to be restarted since 2011 Fukushima disaster. That means it is already beyond 40 years. Now, the age of this reactor is 44 years. And now, but the Japanese government, uh, the safety committee, has given the approval for 20 years more. I, I don't believe this, you know. So with this start, Japan now has eight operating nuclear reactors. Uh, still 25 reactors still going through the realizing, I mean, under the process. Okay, this is a view of the total reactors. Totally in the world, 2011, we have a 441. Now we have a 443. Those uh, uh, orange one is reducing, you know, Sweden from 10 to 6, USA 104 to 94, Japan 44 to 33, UK 19 to 15, German 17 to 6, France uh, even 85, 58 to 86, but red one is increasing. Pakistan, India, China, South Korea, so, thank you very much for hearing. I hope we can really see the uh, day we can uh, learn that every country is reducing and within a few decades, we can finish the nuclear power station. Thank you very much.